Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. Today is another build video. I'm calling this one Zeus and it is for the Kya Strong Arm Spark. Now, I've done a fair amount of research on these charge blades and in theory, numbers wise, my builds do work. However, with this one and another of the charge blades I'm not sure whether it's just because I don't know thunder doesn't really seem to do much to monsters that are even actually weak to thunder Kushala three star weak to thunder now Gigante three star weak to thunder and the damage output you get from this charge blade is nowhere near any of the others which is a bit perplexing so I'm not too sure on how I really feel about this particular charge blade I mean with Kya strong arm ice you can get file damage up to and over 200 I regularly hit about 150 depending on the hit zone and the monster itself as long as it's three star weak to you know ice pretty darn similar with the Kya strong arm water against things like Teostra Yes, the ice technically does work better despite Tiostra being weaker to water, but still. And then with the Kyar Strong Arm King, it's not the greatest damage numbers, but you still get pretty do hefty damage numbers, pretty darn on par with impact files of the same sort. However, with Spark, it just feels so underwhelming, and honestly, didn't really feel like it was worth it perhaps maybe adding it more thunder attack would help out not too sure so this is what I have so far and if you guys have any recommendations to my skills and equipment then yeah you've got the comment section but still I just kind of feel like although they're three star weak to thunder it's just not good enough so we've got the Kiar strong arm spark with a health augment, Kaizak Gamma helmet with two tenderizer, Damascus Beta chest with three bolt, Kaiser Gamma gloves with a magazine, Kulv Tarof Gamma waist with a charger, Kaizak Gamma boots with a critical iron, iron and an iron wall, and rounding it all off, we have that Handicraft 3 charm. This will obviously give us Master's Touch. Critical Element, Critical Eye Level 7, Focus Level 3, which is Exploit Level 3, Handicraft Level 3, Thunder Attack Level 3, Critical Boost Level 2, Capacity Boost, and Guard Level 1. It is pretty much akin to all of my current Critical Element Charge Blades, minus obviously the Elemental Change, but it just doesn't feel like it has the same punch. So I wanted to test it out on something that was obviously not 3 star weak to thunder and just see if damage values changed an awful lot depending on how it lined up with the hit zone values per element and provided you can actually focus the head of something like a Rathian or Rathalos you actually deal a lot of damage considering that Kushala Daura is supposed to be three star weak which is a bit odd so it does literally just seem to be quite simply that thunder is not really a particularly great element on a charge blade to use in this fashion which is kind of irritating so despite the fact that this build does work mathematically it is actually annoyingly not very good however there is also one glaring glaring exception which I'm pretty sure some people are screaming already Kulv Taroth now all you do for this or what I have been running for this I basically swap the waste out for the Zora Magdalos Gamma and in those two slots doesn't really matter what order you do it in add in a destroyer and a charger and in the two slots for the Kaiser Gamma helmet Remove the two tenderizers you have in there and put two more destroyers in. This gives you part breaker level three, 
Bombardier Level 2 and, of course, annoyingly, Critical Eye Level 8. Obviously, you can't actually get level 8, it caps out at level 7 with your plus 30% affinity. But what I mean is, you basically have your one over on Critical Eye. I am sure, absolutely positive, those lovely Monster Hunter math guys have addressed a probably a far better build than I on a Kulv Taroth set up for charge blade and it probably works a lot better but i've been having pretty decent results with what i use so you know if you're here for that anyway that is me thank you very much for watching sorry this build video couldn't be a bit more hey look this actually works well, it does work but it's just crap anyway hope to see you guys pretty darn soon good luck have fun and don't die it's bad for the health